Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering adding fractions with unlike denominators. Now, this takes a few steps to solve these, so it might be confusing at first, but you will get better with practice. So in this video, we're going to do four together, and then we'll follow it up with a mastery check where you will try some on your own. Again, these take practice, so if you don't get it by the end of number one, that's okay. That's why we're doing four, so we can do four examples, four practice problems in order to get it down before you try the mastery check. So let's start with number one here, and we have one half plus two sixths. And the first thing you should do when you see an addition or subtraction fraction problem is check to see if they have common denominators. If they do, you can add or subtract. Well, we have a two and we have a six. Obviously, those aren't the same thing, so we cannot add yet. So we need to find a common denominator. That's our first step, and I'll put a CD here. We need to find a common denominator, and how we do that is we find the least common multiple between the two uh, denominators. If you don't know what a least common multiple is, I did do an instructional video on that. You can check that out um, after this video or right now and then come back to this video. But all you do for least common multiple, I'll come to the side, I'll actually do this right under here. We have a two and we have a six. So we need to list these, the multiples, and see where they meet first. The common multiple, six, 12. Ah, you probably notice the match here. This six is gonna be our common denominator. So I'm gonna write this six under our original problem. Now step two, we need to rename with equivalent fractions, both those fractions with a denominator of six now. So we need to rename. And how we do that is we take this one half and we need it to equal a fraction that has a denominator of six. So we use our equivalent fraction rule. Whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do to the top, or whatever we do to the top, we need to do to the bottom. Two times three gives us six, so we need to do that to the top in order to rename this with an equivalent fraction. One times three is three, three six. One half is equal to three six, that makes sense. So I write my 3 6 in there. Now my second fraction already has a denominator of 6, so we do not need to rename. You leave it. So you drop this 2 down. And then step 3, you add. Add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then you keep your common denominator, which is 6. And we are done. 5 6. Now, the fourth step is to simplify your fraction, break it down as far as it can go. And this one, the only common factor between 5 and 6 is 1, so we are done. That is in simplest form. If you need help simplifying, I did an instructional video on that. You can check that out. None of the problems on this video need simplified but it is a good skill to know. So next problem, 3 eighths plus 2 twelfths. So let's look at our first step. Do we have a common denominator? No, 8 and 12 are not the same. So we're going to need to rename with a common denominator and find that common denominator first. So you can write out your multiples for 8 and 12 and see where they meet first. Once you do a bunch of these, you'll get better at them and be able to do the least common multiple in your head. So they actually are going to meet at 24 first. That is going to be our common denominator. So now we need to rename step two. So eight times three is going to give us 24. So we need to do that to the top. 8 times 3 gives us this 24, so we need to do the same thing to the top. 3 times 3 is 9. 
All right, how do we get 12 to equal this 24? 12 times 2 is 24, so I need to do that to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 24 is equivalent to this 3 8 We just have a denominator of 24 now, so we can add. Same thing over here. 4 out of 24 is the same. It's equivalent to 2 twelfths. We just have this denominator of 24, so we can now add our numerators. 9 plus 4 is 13. Keep our denominator the same. The only common factor is 1 between 13 and 24, so that is in simplest form. 13 out of 24. Okay, and the reason I didn't do any, all of these answers are in simplest form because I want you to focus on adding these fractions, not on simplifying. If we need more work on simplifying, we will work on that at another time. So next, number three, we have a six and a nine. So we need to think where six and nine will meet first when we list out the multiples. So I'll do, I'll list this one. 6, 12, 18, 24, 9, 18. Oh, we have a match. 18 is going to be our common denominator. So now step two, we need to rename with equivalent fractions. 6 times 3 gives me this 18, so I need to do that to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. I need to get 9 to equal this 18. 9 times 2 is 18, so I need to do that to the top. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I have common denominators, 18, and I renamed with equivalent fractions, so I can add 3 plus 10 is 13, 18. And again, this can't be simplified, so we are done. 13 18. Number four, seven and three. So if you don't know where those are going to meet, write out your multiples lists, find where they meet first, and that's your common denominator. They are gonna meet first at 21. So now we need to rename. Seven times three is 21, so we need to do that to the top. Two times three is six. 3 times 7 is 21, so we need to do that to the top. 2 times 7 is 14. We have common denominators. We renamed properly, so we are ready to add. 6 plus 14 is 20. Denominator of 21 cannot be simplified. Only common factor is 1, so 20 over 21 is our correct answer there. So that's adding fractions with unlike denominators. First thing, check if your fractions have common denominators. If they don't, you need to find a common denominator. Step two, we need to rename with that common denominator. Step three, add. And then step four, simplify if it is necessary. Okay, so that's how you add fractions with unlike denominators. Thanks for watching.